Hi, my name is Sharon Rossi, and I'm the director of the Alzheimer's Disease Research Program at Bright Focus Foundation. I'm excited to talk to you today about some of the newest research we're funding in 2021. At Bright Focus, we take a 360 degree approach to research. We know that Alzheimer's is a very complex disease and will therefore require research looking at it from multiple different angles. We therefore leave no stone unturned when finding a cure for this devastating disease. Today, I want to talk to you about research that we're funding in four key areas. Important research in sleep, genetics, diet and exercise and lifestyle interventions, and what we can learn from people who age healthily well into their hundreds. So I'd like to start by first talking about sleep. Even though we know we should get a good night's sleep, if we're experiencing sleep disturbances, that's not always the easiest task. In fact, Bright Focus funded researchers have recently shown that sleep disruptions are not only a consequence of Alzheimer's disease, but are in fact a risk factor for getting the disease. This year, we're funding five different projects in the area of sleep and Alzheimer's disease. These projects are looking at genetics and the different genes that might be involved in sleep disruptions, as well as brain regions that might be involved in both sleep and Alzheimer's disease pathology. Did you know that your genes can determine whether or not you have an increased risk of getting Alzheimer's disease? One gene in particular, called ApoE, can increase or decrease your risk of getting the disease depending on which variant you have. Researchers we're funding this year will look more specifically at the mechanisms by which it can protect people against getting Alzheimer's disease. We all know that diet and exercise have beneficial effects for your heart and also for your waistline. But did you know that diet and exercise can also have beneficial effects on the brain? In fact, a recent study published by Bright Focus funded investigators showed that increasing the amount of saturated fats in your diet can increase your risk of getting dementia. Another lifestyle intervention is where you reduce the number of calories that you intake every day. And this has been shown to decrease biological aging and increase health span as well as lifespan. So, so far, we've been talking about ways you can decrease your risk of getting Alzheimer's disease. But did you know that some people can live well into 100 and not develop any cognitive impairments? This is called resilience or resistance against getting disease. Healthy centenarians can provide many insights into the genetic factors and lifestyle factors that might contribute to this resilience. Bright Focus is funding a study this year that will look at a group of 400 healthy centenarians and their family members to try to determine the mechanisms that provide this resistance against getting Alzheimer's disease. I will leave you with one last very important project we're funding this year, and this has to do with caregiving for older Americans at home. We've led research efforts looking at the best ways to care for people at home during later stages of Alzheimer's disease. This year, we'll put those research efforts to work in collaboration with Johns Hopkins University and the state of Maryland to provide people at home with more comprehensive, home-based, personalized care. Thank you so much for your time today. I am so excited about the progress being made by these scientists in the fight against Alzheimer's disease and dementia. We appreciate your support to Bright Focus and in supporting this innovative science that will ultimately hopefully lead to treatments and cures for this devastating disease. To celebrate the Day of Hope with us, please donate to support Alzheimer's disease research and help find a cure.